Time to play with some clay. I'm trying an experiment. I got my GoPro Hero 4 Silver set up on my sculpting stand. And I've got my uh, GoPro Hero set up uh, stationary. Not sure exactly what I'm going to sculpt yet. Uh, just basically, well, it's amazing how warm this clay gets. I know it, you can melt it, and I know all the other stuff that you can do with it. And uh, But like I said, I'm trying it for the first time to do it the way I do my sculpting. And it's I don't have to pour my clay. I'm trying to readjust my light a little bit because it's a little too close. Um, I'm trying to... Sculpt, I don't need to sculpt a uh, face and then make a mold of it and then pour clay into it to, uh, you know, come back and rework it. I, I like to do those things as I'm working on it. And that's why this clay may not work out for me. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying it out for the first time. I can see possibilities uh, for doing sketches and stuff like that, but I don't know if I'm going to really put much time into this. Now see, I can... This clay's been sitting here for a couple of days. It's hard, I mean, but it's, it is malleable slightly but not as uh, malleable as my regular clay, which is JMAC. All right, I'm going to try to do something here. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Anyway, I'll come back after I get uh, a little more done on this. Now I'm forming a skull first before I do anything more. I'm finding that clay uh, does require a different skill set and uh, it's interesting. And one thing I'm finding is that uh, you can get greater detail with this clay. Because unlike my regular plastiline clay, it doesn't, uh, if you make a wrong move in a, the regular plastiline, it just, uh, you screw up what you spent an hour trying to do. With this clay, you can... I kind of like this. Am I going to use it for bigger pieces? I don't know. But I'm liking it. Oops, I guess I better put my drill down before I drop it again. Yeah, I'm not too unhappy with this clay. And I think you can do stuff with hair because it's almost wax-like in its reaction that you can put something in a certain way and have it stay there. It's just that I've been using other clay for almost 50 years, so, <laughs> or, or clay like it. And this is uh, the first time for this one. I'm 
finding the, uh, the ball tip tools are much more useful in this type of clay. The thing I'm finding out is the tools that I'm using aren't the ones I would use normally for the regular clay. I'm using more metal tools than I would wire tools. Interesting clay. See, I just bumped that uh, eyeball. And it didn't do any real big damage, it just did slight damage. Not sure I'm happy with the eyes yet, but uh, that'll come tomorrow probably. Or tonight, depending on how I feel. Hmm. work it'd be great <laughs> mm. my thumb and forefinger on this hand are numb so it makes it really hard to to work mm. ah. third try Well, if I had my fingers when I was younger, this would be so much easier. Hell, if I had my eyes the way they were when, they were, when I was younger, I'd be a whole lot better. But, no use crying about what I ain't got anymore. Just do the best I can with what I got. Well, this is as far as I'm going to get today. I think what I'm going to do is uh, pick this up maybe tomorrow. And uh, see where it goes. I like the clay. My first impressions are it's a little more difficult than normal clay. The plastiline clay that I've been using but it has properties that make it even more desirable to work with when you uh, start working on subjects that uh, well that you want to create personality in that's going to be it tonight and uh, i'll see you guys next time give me a thumbs up and share my video
And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.